YouTube, we are back for another upload in relation to Mike. Night Tiger's exciting, or not exciting, thrilling comics. And this is a short upload, or I take it back. It is episodes within a major upload, because I'm conserving this book, and it took many uploads to get to this point, detailing step-by-step -step instructions if you desire to leaf cast golden age comics okay i know it's been a while since the x-men won i wanted to do it today and have an upload but i still didn't get my ingredients that i need to do the upload and i promise minus if i can't do it to have an X-Men number one upload this Friday. Okay, guys. So, if you recall, last time we mixed some paper, newsprint, and white acid-free paper to try to come up with the color of the interior of the first page right here. Okay, and that's what I try to do. I try to blend it where I get the colors to match the interior. So what I want to do now is we want to take the next step. This has been soaking for, I would say, a little longer than usual. It's been soaking for about 36 hours. And as you can see, hopefully the camera's picking it up. The water turned a little tan that it's soaking in, the paper. So I'm good with that. That's fine. So what you do is you take a normal blender. Here you go. Here's my blender, the top piece of the blender. And we're going to use this to blend the paper pieces. And we're going to pour it in. And as you can see, hopefully... It's picking up. The paper did turn a tan, or I take that back. The water did turn tan with the soaking of the newsprint. And I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the color of the water with the soaking of the newsprint. Now, if we look at this paper right now, I'll take a piece after we pour all of the shredded pieces into the blender it is pretty soft the paper it breaks up very easy you want it this way okay you don't want it where it is rigid and you want the water to absorb into the paper to break it up now, right here, I don't like the amount of water that is in the blender. So I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to add some regular tap water so we can get a little bit more water to work with. So hold on one sec. Okay, guys, I am back. I filled up the blender. Now, I know there's a lot of channels out there that are very scientific and want to give the amounts of water used, paper, or things of that nature when you are soaking comics with the calcium hydroxide or other chemicals or other conservation methods. But I'm more loose with my measurements because when you do the leaf casting, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much water is it a four cups, five cups, it doesn't matter because there's times when I do the pulp and I mix it that I add more water after if I need more pulp. So this is not super scientific leaf casting. It's really not. So we close the blender and then what we're going to do is we're going to mix it. And I'm going to mix it probably for a good few minutes because we really want to disintegrate the paper and i mix it I, I mix it with stir smoothie if everyone knows you have the different buttons on the blender that you can use so for me i like to mix it up and use different ones to just get it 
mixed up and you want to integrate the pulp, you really want to break it up with the blender. So right now I'm going to start with stir and it's going to be very loud. So cover your ears if you have sensory issues. Here we go. And we're just going to start mixing it up, start blending it. Then I'll move it to shake. Smoothie. And then I'm going to go right to the hardcore blend but I just want to move the cover away that's sitting on the side because sometimes water does shoot out. So let's, I'm going to go to crush ice right now. Okay, you saw how long I mixed it. So let's open it up. It always has the bubbles and fizzing. And I'm looking right now, I'll wait till it stops with the fizzing. And this is too thick. Let's see if we can get some. That's too thick, okay? So if you're going to leaf cast using paper pulp, right there, that consistency is not good. So what we want to do is I want to go a little bit more radical. And I didn't use crush ice or ice crush last time I used smoothie. So we're going to go back and we're going to have to blend it more. And let's see. Let's see if we can do it together so I don't, so you can get a feel how long that I blended for. If you're interested in this type of thing, I'm sure the time that I blend it will be helpful. So here you go. Okay, guys, I showed some comics to get past the blending. I'm sure it didn't come up in the whole screen, but let's wait for the fizzing to disappear and let's see what we got here. So this is better. I like the consistency of this pulp right here because it won't even stick onto my bone here. So this is pretty good, the consistency. So what I want to do next is we are going to test. We are going to test to make a little round section so we can see if we have the right color. So what I like to do, and I just want to open up the camera a little bit, make it bigger. There we go. And I want to show you what I do right here. What we have is a dressing bottle or a squeeze bottle. You can get online, Amazon. I don't promote projects or products on my channel. You can get them wherever you want. I'm really not looking to make money doing this. I'm looking to spread my knowledge that I developed over the course of doing this sort of thing. I developed a lot of knowledge in leaf casting. You know, sometimes I'm not mentioned about leaf casting on uploads and by other channels, but that's fine because I'm pretty much the only at this point channel that shows leaf casting. And believe it or not, I have a proven track record with leaf casting with CGC. So when I send books in, 
to CGC, I get conserved grades. So the leaf casted books that I send in, everyone to date got a conserved grade. There were a few that got a restored grade first, and that's just a matter of grading for the grader, and I had to send it back in, and then I got a conserved grade. It just happens. So regardless of that, what we're going to do is I have a piece right here. This is Reme. It's a used piece of Reme because when you use the Reme, what happens is when it gets a little older, you don't want to use it anymore because the fibers become unwound and they get stuck in the comic and the leaf casting. So I use it secondary again for leaf casting color tests. Usually in the past, I would put a piece of Reme on glass and paper towels and put the pulp on, but I'm backing off for that from that because what I'm doing now is I'm trying to conserve the paper towels because I'm using a lot of them and I don't want to buy more stock and bounty. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of Reme over my mixing jar just like this and I'm gonna pour a circle of the pulp. And it should theoretically go right through into the bottom. And you know what? It's not working. It's not working. So we're gonna go to plan two and I'm, I'm gonna increase my stock with the paper towels. Because when you use the Reme with the paper towels, I think the capillary action sucks it through better. And when you do leaf casting with the vacuum, it sucks it through better. So that, that didn't work. So let's make a round circle. Do, 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 just like this. There it goes. And, and it will fall through. See how the paper towel is absorbing the pulp. And it's absorbing the water that's coming through the scrap piece of Reme. So right here, I have my little disc that I developed, and this is just to make sure that we are trying to match the color with the original book, the interior of the original book. Because it's very important to match the color. I think that is one of the standouts with conservation and if you match the color better than just mixing paper pulp and putting it on the book and saying hey i leaf casted that's not enough and then also guys when you leaf cast doesn't mean you leaf cast and you're automatically going to get a conserved grade with CGC. It doesn't work that way. Okay? It doesn't work that way. It works if you are doing quality leaf casting. And I think I developed a proven track record of quality leaf casting. Some better than others. But... It's just not, hey, I leaf cast it in, I'm going to send it to CGC and I'm going to get a conserved grade. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to do it right. And there are some people who use leaf casting and they think that if they just fill in the voids of the paper with paper pulp, they're done. No, that's not the case. And I say this repeatedly, if you are going to try to do this, you want to support the paper that is around the missing pieces. And I know Peter Alici, he does it that way following Jerry the Jitterbug's methods. You have to support the area of the paper that you're filling in. So that means you have to overlap and you have to get pulp on the existing paper in addition to filling in the voids of the paper that is missing. And I know Kenny Sanderson does that, and he's the best out there, in my opinion. I said this day in and day out. I scrutinize, or I used to scrutinize, 
his pictures. And I'm <clears throat> happy to say that I became very friendly, <clears throat> excuse me, with Kenny. And we talk from time to time. So you really want to leaf cast and you want to add the paper over the existing or the paper pulp over the existing paper. It's not enough just to fill in the voids. I think if you do it that way, <clears throat> you're wasting your time. So what I wanna do next, I wanna let this dry naturally. So I have two pieces of small glass. I'll put it on one of the small glasses and I'll close it up with a second. And I'll put this on my oil burner, which is next to me. Even though it's June, or at the end of May in New York, the oil burner still goes on with the hot water, etc. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching this. And again, fingers crossed or promise Friday will be the X-Men. And then we're really going to wrap up the X-Men and... Mike Night Tiger's Thrilling Comics, because I want to get going with the detective comics that I have from Jeremy, and that's going to be a very exciting project, and I want to do that and focus on that alone. So guys, if you're watching the upload, give a comment. Give one of those little emojis, the thumbs up, or it's so easy, you don't even have to think about it. Let's get the channel moving a little bit. Let's get some movement with likes and with shares and comments and things like that. It makes me feel good making these uploads for your viewing pleasure. Give a comment. And if you're watching, hit the sub button. Don't watch and don't hit the subscribe button. Why would you not subscribe? It doesn't cost you anything. Just hit it. And again, it's not the money for me. It's not selling products. It's not giving links on Amazon or anything like that. What are you going to do? I don't want to make that money. I want to share what I've learned doing this for two or three years, leaf casting and all the other things that I do on the channel. I want to share it so people can do it on their own. My mistakes are your benefit because now you don't have to make mistakes, hopefully, based on what I am showing and how to do this. So just to close, the pulp right here can stay. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, okay? You can keep it in the blender. And now is another example of the texture. This is what you want right here. Okay, this is what you want. This is the texture of the pulp. So what we'll do is hopefully the color will be on and then we'll check it out. And if not, I'll show you how I adjust the color. So stay tuned. <laughs>